Ditch Chickens and Pigs. Oh my, the Shawnee County Fair continues on at the Kansas Expo Center today. KSNT News reporter James Ryan is live in central Topeka right now to explain why 4 H kids say there really is something for everybody at the county fair. Brittany, thousands of kids enter into the Shawnee County Fair every year, and not all of their projects are going to be trotted around horse arenas like this one. Now, there are the typical projects that people think of, like showing animals and baking, but there are other non animal related projects like table setting, photography, and other art related projects that make some 4 H kids say there really is a project for everybody. A lot of people think 4 H is cows and pigs and such like that. But there is everything from bugs to rocks to Legos, you know, rabbits, chickens, whole nine yards. Dawson Schaefer has been entering his dog Pepper into the 4-H dog show competition for the past five years. It's his last year in the club and he's aging out of it. And his sister Elizabeth is going to take over the tradition next year. Now, I don't know about you, where, but where I grew up in Abilene, the county fair was the place to be every year. My, I didn't enter into any projects, but my brother and sister both showed animals at, every year and my cousin entered photography. And even though I didn't take part that way, it was still fun to like come on down and see basically all the animals and everything that people have put their hard work into. So uh, come on down this weekend and, you know, give these kids a little credit. <laughs> Live in Central Topeka, James Ryan, KSNT News. 4-H is such a great program. Thank you, James, for highlighting that. The Shawnee County Fair began last weekend with a horse and show uh, and continues today at the Kansas Expo Center, and it will run through Sunday.